Hey guys, welcome back to Plex and Tech. Do I look cool or what? Yeah, I'm wearing shades inside. But these are not just ordinary sunglasses. These have a camera right up here. Spy sunglasses, that's right. These are 1080p spy sunglasses that record to a micro SD card slot. Let me take these off and we'll take a closer look at these. I think these are actually pretty darn comfortable and around $30 they're not expensive. And their construction of these are pretty good. I, like, I, I thought this would be really cheap feeling sunglasses, but they have a nice weight to them. Of course, they're gonna have some extra weight because of electronics are built into this. But just the overall construction and feel of these is a lot better than I was anticipating. It's a little tight around the bridge of my nose here, you know, and I don't have a very wide nose. So if you have a really big nose, it could be even worse. But overall, the you know, sunglasses function pretty good. There's a bit of light bleed here you know, along my cheekbones in here. But you know, again, that's sort of just depending on the shape of your face. But overall, not too bad. Now it records to the internal SD card, both video and audio at 1080p at 30 FPS. It's recording in what's called motion JPEG. Not a very good format. It's usually what's used for lower end hardware so it can get a decent frame rate. So you know what, we can't expect really great video out of this. But then again, it didn't cost a whole lot. Now. You get it in the uh, mail here. I got these from eBay. And they come with this, you know, decent little box. And it does mention 1080p. It supports up to 256 gigabyte micro SD card. It says that it's, uh, it says on the front too, mobile DV or you know, digital video recorder. Four megapixels, what it claims that the sensor is in there. And of course, 1080p on there. But what I really also like was this hard case that it comes with. This is a pretty nice little carrying, uh, sunglass carrying case and better than I expected. I expect you just have a little cloth sleeve or something if it gave you anything at all. Uh, so I was just surprised by that. And inside of that, you get your little bitty instruction manual, which is a bit hard to read. If you're older like me, you might need a magnifying glass. They give you a micro USB cable. That is for charging the internal battery. There's a little bit of lipo inside of here. And I believe you'll probably can also do a data transfer from the card to your computer if you don't want to take it out of the um, sunglasses. And they give you a little cleaning cloth for the lenses. So again, not, not bad for $30. Now we'll look at the uh, inputs and the buttons here. So next to, you know, it's only one side. You've got this side is where all your stuff is on the left side. Right side is nothing. So they are kind of thick so each side matches because you have the electronics in there. But on the side you have your button and you press in on this for two seconds and that will power up the camera. And then you press it, quick press it again and that will start recording video. I believe that once it's powered up, if you do a, a double press, that will take just a photo if you wanted to do that. So if you're walking around, and you don't have it recording video, you could double tap it and you can take a photo. So on the bottom here you have your, there's a reset button right here. So if, if they're locked up, you could put a little pin in there and reset them. Next to that, you have your micro USB port. Next to that is your little tiny micro uh, hole for your microphone. It's not much. And then up farther from that is that micro uh, SD card slot that you just pop your card in there. So the audio on this, I don't expect to be too great. You know, let's hope it's just a, let's hope it's good enough that we can at least hear what I'm saying whenever I walk around during the test. And again, I don't expect the video to be anything spectacular. If it's just usable, that's all I'm anticipating at this price. If these are really, really expensive, then obviously we would have a gripe. But again, I'm not expecting really great uh, results from the video, just something that's usable. So let's get outside and where I got some test footage, walking around the neighborhood to see how these work, and then we'll come back to wrap up this video. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, let's test out these spy sunglasses. Of course, there's going to be a bit of wobble and shake since there's no image stabilization on these cheap sunglasses. But I got to tell you, these are quite comfortable to wear. Again, they're a little tight over the bridge of my nose. But I think they, uh, you know, otherwise they're pretty nice. Now, the video is motion JPEG, so it's going to be a series of JPEGs. And, you know, JPEGs are not very good quality, so... I do not expect the video here to be uh, too good. It's going to probably be rather smoothed out with a probably not a whole lot of detail. Where these are lightweight and you have no one knows 
Yeah, you can see the camera down in the middle, but you have to be up close to know it's there. Otherwise, you know, it's just there and you don't even know there's a camera. It's really quite amazing that even though it may not be super high quality, that we can even capture video in a pair of sunglasses at this price and not hundreds of dollars. It's pretty amazing. And this does record at true 1080p. Again, it you know, may not look like it because of the motion JPEG and it is 30 FPS, so it's not gonna be super shuttery or you know, like a shutter effect you get with a really low frame rate. But keep in mind, fast motion, if you're spinning your head around quickly and running and stuff, is gonna have that because you really need about 60 FPS or higher to get that really smooth look um, to the human eye. Now I am walking into a headwind here so we'll see as I'm walking into the wind uh, if there's any kind of mic noise because this mic is got just a little pinhole mic in there so it's going to you know it could be overwhelmed by wind noise pretty easily all right guys you just saw the test footage out there and I imagine you could agree that the footage was not the greatest it's really smoothed out there's a lot of lack of detail in the fine objects and again that is because of just the cheap components in the motion JPEG video you're just looking at basically 30 JPEGs which all videos sort of just a bunch of photos but those, those JPEGs um, are always low quality and that's where you're losing a lot of the quality from the camera the mic was you know it's okay you can hear me it's 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 not anything great I've not checked it yet to see if it's mono it probably is but you saw that in the video I should put the stats up there to let you know this was 1080p at 30 and I did not boost the audio in that at all so we could hear what it would sound like right off the micro SD card slot but overall if you're looking for a pair of sunglasses you can go out boating or fishing or some activity you want to capture some video but you're not concerned if it's you know really great quality or not then I think this wouldn't be too bad for around uh, 29 30 bucks so I'll put a link down in the description to eBay where I picked these up and uh, you can give it a try if you'd like all right guys that wraps up the video of these 1080p HD uh, spy sunglasses if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing while you're at it click that bell that notifies you every time when I upload a new video. And as always, guys, you have a great day.